old school, I'm gonna go ropes. None of that fancy uh, bungee cord stuff, huh? None of that. Okay. Note. Tie it against itself, like this. Pull it, keeps tight. Tension, everything's to the other. We can check it on the way. We're going over some rough area, but okay. I think overall we're gonna be good. Sounds good. Okay, everybody. The three amigos are back. Three amigos? Spike. Oh. Anyways, it's Don and Kel's Outside Excellent Outdoor Adventures. This time we're gonna do it even better than before. Four day camping trip down at the river, ravines, possibly Indian ruins, caves, wild animals. We don't know, all kinds of adventure. You're gonna have to come along to find out. That sounds exciting, Kel. Bam! <laughs> okay, let's go. You got two takes, you can do whatever you want. my um game camera oh yeah yeah nice you want to go uh see what's up there see if it goes in anywhere or maybe we can set up the camera and leave it here while we're camping and pick it up on the way back yeah great idea okay cool let me get it out okay there it is oh yeah there's some big cat a lot of cat Big cat poop, like man. Really? Mountain lion or something. You think so? Mountain lion? Oh yeah, this is big stuff. Hope he's not up there. I hope not. Yeah, I see that poop. Yeah, a lot of it. That's big. Okay. It's all downhill. All right. How far back to go? It just goes about another foot around the corner here, uh -huh. but you can see a really coarse hair of uh, some kind of animal. Yeah? And yeah. it's mountain lion? Uh, it's something really coarse. Huh. Like, yeah. Javelina? Maybe, yeah. You know, it's like a javelina. Huh. So, okay, I'm going to put a little dirt and better chance of just seeing any paw prints. Oh, so yeah, a fresh, yeah. fresh path. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good idea. That's enough. I got a video. Huh. Okay, I found it. I, my uh, DJI um, app directed me right to it. It's right here in the bushes. Can you hear he it? lost his drone. It's like a heartbeat. <laughs> That's great. Okay, let me get in and get it. All right. That's the hard part. And it looked like a pretty soft landing. Yeah, with the bushes, although it's cat's claw. Does right. it look? Got it. Is it? Uh... Yeah, looks fine. <laughs> that is great. All right.
here's the river. Check it out. Wow, that's beautiful. Very nice. Wow, rope swing. That's cool. Wow. What is that thing anyway? Okay, so look, somebody left, or actually brought and left this table. Yeah. Uh, tied with a felt marker for people to, uh, you know, initial and date. Uh, That's cool. Here it says, uh, this table is here for enjoyment. Please have fun and respect it. Neat. And it was by a racing team, 290, okay. 2999. Hey, Isn't look, cool? there's Don and Kel's Outdoor Adventures, YouTube. This guy's get around. Rock and rope, you get some firewood. Oh, rock and rope, huh? So, okay, we're going to try to get that limb up there. See if you can swing it over that limb and then uh, we'll tow it with the quad. Here we go. Yeah, you're hooked up. That's how it's done, Don. Ready? Yeah. Very nice. Well, we just got back from uh, getting some wood and I took one right here in the nose for the team. I don't know, branches fell out of the tree from nowhere. Hey, team. Okay, we've got our little teepee built here for firewood and gonna light it here in just a minute. Here she comes. So what do you got? Uh, what happened there to your chair, Kel? Oh my goodness. I gave up the ghost. Yeah? Uh, those cheap plastic bases on these things. Yeah. Uh, it all came apart at once on this trip. Or when I loaded it. Right, but so, you've had that for a while, right? So it's, yeah. Yeah. I thought usually the fabric would go first, but in this case, plastic. Yeah. So I did an initial attempt yesterday to wire it, got minimal success, and now we're gonna try another approach. All right, stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's it, huh? It's a start. Okay, we're back. Uh, tried to cut out the rivets and stuff. Didn't work, too time consuming. Didn't have the big enough tools. So, we happened to have brought with this uh, Gorilla duct tape, heavy duty stuff. Yeah. And now we got it, and we're gonna try it. Okay, you gonna try it? Yep. Okay. Gorilla taped it. Do it work. Ah, oh, yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at our campsite here. So I got the tent. Kill is actually using the cot over there. No kitchen area here. It's the first morning at our new campsite. Good night's sleep, beautiful environment to wake up to. Finish breakfast, learn something new about a fire pit, and you build it close enough or low enough to the water's edge. At night, the moisture came back up and totally quenched it. So now we can go hiking and not worry about leaving hot embers. Yeah, so we're gonna see what, what we can find out there today, right? We don't, we don't know if anything's out there, but we're, 
Don, this path you're coming on is actually a road. It is? Yeah. It's right, you know, it's shallow enough for some vehicles to get across. Yeah, but where are they going to go? I see some rock wall over there. So, um, yeah, I thought maybe if we went up that hill over there, uh, I think the Native Americans uh, would walk the top of the hills because that way they can see game. It's usually an easier uh, path to walk along the top of the little hills. So maybe we can go up there, walk it, see if we find any pottery or something. Yeah, sounds good. Let me see that, it's like a trip wire here. It's actually a spider web. It goes all the way over there. Okay, so here we got a big, it's like a barrel cactus. Look at the size of the spines and thick. I heard that Native Americans would use these for fishing hooks. Uh -huh. But the interesting thing is these little fruits on the top, yeah. If they're not too dried up yet, you can get them out. You can get them out. <laughs> get them out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you can pull these. And they look like a little pineapple. Yeah. And then if you open them up, they got these seeds in there. They're yeah. moist. Yeah. You can eat the seeds. And uh, what is that seed we put in our blended drinks? Uh, you sure you can do that? Because you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, here's a proof. We don't want to tell people to do that and then they get sick. Well, I did it as a kid. Oh, but okay. They're just hollow, crunchy, almost like a sesame seed, but huh. okay. chia seed. They're like a chia seed. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Look at that. Wow, there's a bunch of them in there. Yeah. So they probably have some nutritional value. They're a seed. Yeah. They just, and I think you can even eat this fruit. It's kind of, huh. well, I'm eating it. Kind of pithy. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, if you had to survive on something, it something but okay don i found something yeah we're on the second ridge right you know going to the third one didn't find anything on the first ridge yeah i got something here on the second one we've got this path is becoming more established yeah and over here look at see the red that's what stood out that oh, yeah, right there's a piece oh yeah thought i saw another one over there but anyways yeah Pick it up, it's thin, you see the edge. Yeah, that's pottery. Pottery, and look at the glycerin, you know. Yeah. Same thing here, there's another piece, so. Right, oh, did I match? Well, I have pretty Almost, close, yeah. could be. Cool. Anyway, so here's one. Okay. More, same stuff. Yeah. So maybe somebody was sitting on this very rock. Yeah, okay, cool. First find, not, not much. It rained last night, and uh, wow, there's kind of a neat mist on the lake here. That's pretty cool.
Okay, so uh, what is it? Saturday morning and we're gonna go on a quad ride? Yeah, and to a ravine that we passed on the way in here, it looked pretty interesting. So we're gonna go up the, uh, the wash here, this ravine, and see if there's any wildlife or whatever we can run into, right? Yeah, especially after last night's rain might be stir something up. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Let's go. Yeah. There's a ladder up there. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this ladder, obviously it's modern, uh, a sense. It's got baling wire, there's straight cuts on the ladders. Why'd they put it here? Well, once we got up here, there's actually a honeycomb up there. You can't really tell, but yeah, right there, it's all, yeah. it's been stripped of the honey, the combs. I'm gonna try to go up it. All right, you're gonna try to go up it? Yeah, it's really sturdy. All right. Some brave soul came up here to get a loaded hive of honey. Yeah. Yeah, from there you can't reach it yet unless she's got a stick or something knocking it down. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you see the comb. I'm going to get a close up on it. Okay. Okay, I'm up here near the top of the ladder, as high as I want to go, and you can see the remnants of the comb. Wow. Yeah, a little spring coming out of the wall there, huh? Yeah, I think that's where the bees get their water, huh? Cool. We had to kind of get out and walk because we came to a possible dead end, but still we're going to walk up the canyon a little bit see what we find up here. What? You're not going to find water. Oh, I bet. I bet we will. Well, it rained last night, too. Uh, I don't think that was it. Hmm. But I bet if we dig, you know, about a foot. Okay, okay I hit water. So you've been digging and digging. You got water? Let's see. I'd like to tie it. No, it's a foot. Look at this. Uh, it's like three inches deep now. Wow. That's cool. You got water out of the middle of the desert, huh? So right next. have a way to purify it. Yeah, right next to this grove. Excellent. So it's kind of cool that water is just seeping. It seems to be like everywhere in this canyon. There's a nice wet spot right there. Huh. Is there more water sitting here? Oh wow, yeah, look at it. It's moving. Look at fresh water. Looks like it's bubbling out just right here. See it? Wow, the farther we go, it's almost flowing. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh yeah. Oh, that's why. Oh, look at this. Oh wow. Where does this come from here? Keeps going. Oh, wow. neat. Oh, wow. It's kind of a blockade, left field, go up and around. Wow, this wall is just kind of seeping, isn't it? Right, so, this is contributing. Yeah. Oh, we're coming to a cottonwood, looks like, right? Uh, wow, this massive cottonwood has just collapsed here. 
What'd you say about up there? Looks like a den. A den up there? Yeah. Some big print. I thought it was a mountain lion. Huh. And it definitely looks like something's been holding, holed up here. Yeah. Coming through to the cottonwood. So I was trying to clear the way over there and uh, I got st uh, stung by here and here and one down here by some wasps. So we ran away. Now I'll be swelling up as the day goes by. So we'll check back later. Yeah. All right. So this is not even an hour later, right? You can see it swelling here. Big and this time. is all swelled up. Oh, discoloring. And oh, well. the profile on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a puff daddy here, and then he took a couple hits on the yeah, nose. Yeah, the nose. Firewood, but yeah. at least it's symmetrical. Yeah, there you go. All right. So this is another little canyon here. Looks like there's already water back there. That's right. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, well, look at the fan palm. Wow. That's cool. The animals have access to the river to drink. They have this little spring and the other one nearby. Yeah. There's a lot of water around here. Our option. There's palm trees all the way back through there. Well, it's, uh, we're leaving this morning. I know. I hate, I hate leaving. It's been a, a fun adventure. Maybe we could just kind of talk about some of the things we saw. Okay, uh, yeah. Everything. Remember, uh, we, we got started on Thursday afternoon, and it was cool the way we were able to go through that wash. Just big oh, enough, yeah. it seemed like, for the quads, you know. That was really neat. And then we came across the cave. The cave? Cougar cave. Cougar cave. And we set up the camera there. Hopefully, we're going to go back and see. Yeah. Hopefully, see we got, got something. Anything. So, stay tuned for that. Yeah. You know, we'll put that in the end of the video. Oh, then you encountered uh, the fox. Yes, that, I've never seen a gray, it was a little gray fox, big bushy tail. Yeah. He ran right out in front of me and then it was funny, kind of outfoxed me in a way because he ran in front and then he stopped and looked at me and then I, and then he kind of ran off and I went back to stop you and the fox ran between us uh -huh. back to the other side, you know? Yeah. So he kind of outfoxed neat. us, but it uh -huh. was, that was cool. Yeah, hopefully I got some of that on film. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, and then, uh, so we came in, set up this great camp. Right. And then... Uh, so our first adventure, or not, our exploration was on uh, Saturday, no, Friday. We yeah. went to the other side of the river. Yeah, towards the mountains. Towards the mountains, hoping to find some, you know, some interesting things. And what did we find? We found about a half dozen pieces of pottery. <laughs> and that took a lot of work to find yeah. it. So that was, uh, yeah, didn't, thought, I expected more. But then came back, relaxed around the river, right. sat and then, around red. And then next day, uh, we went up the canyon from yeah. where we were. And that was pretty cool. We saw, we actually found three little slot canyons there. And they all had water in them. That was really neat in life. Yeah. Toads and... Uh, yeah. Like that things. first one, uh, you dug down and found water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I dug down. I'm thinking, hey, I think I... And then it showed, it came up. That yeah. was neat. Just a foot down. Right. And then uh, you and went we, a bridge too far and encountered the yellow jackets. I got stung by yellow jackets. It's still swollen. Yeah, three yeah. hits. Oh, well. Gotta go away. Yeah. So but we call that Yellow Jack Canyon. <laughs> and then, uh, the, but the other two canyons both had water. Really neat. Yeah. Palm the trees. one had palm trees, fan palms, all the way down. Yeah. As far as you really can see, neat. it seemed like, you know. Oh, and then the ladder. You know. Oh, yeah, was, we found that ladder. That was neat. That was really unexpected we didn't know if it was ancient or modern right but it turned out to be modern you know yeah probably decades old it wasn't though, by natives but no, it was, yeah. no right Some but then uh, and it was great you know come back here yeah each night cook on a fire swing with the swing rope yeah it was a great trip so uh good adventure you ready to go yeah let's go check out that camp <laughs> 